Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And as you guys know, and you're probably wondering, hey, where are your statues back there? Um, you know, I've been collecting these PVC statues from Diamond Select uh, for the past almost year now, uh, ever since this first one came out, which was of Venom himself. Uh, with Eddie Brock and the details on these things are just awesome especially for 50 bucks and they're PVC so if they fall chance are nothing major is going to break on them uh, and the reason why that matters to me is because when I first moved out here to LA in 2007 um, I actually had like the first you know handful of uh, Batman black and white statues and the first thing I did when I moved to my new place was I mounted a, a nice shelf on the wall and I put the statues up there and then an earthquake uh, caused the shelf to break um, and I, I don't know if maybe if I just didn't mount it fully in all the way too, but there was an earthquake and I heard it crash and I was like, you got to be kidding me. And I ran in my room and all the statues, except I think one broke in half uh, and I tried to glue them and fix them, but uh, some of them were hit in really harsh places. And so ever since then, I've been afraid of collecting statues again, just because of the, my awful luck. <laughs> so when I saw, you know, that Diamond Select has been making PVC statues for a couple years now. I started looking into them and I was like, you know, when they come out with some characters I really, really like, I'll probably pick them up. And I, I think the first one I got was Green Lantern. Uh, and then I got the uh, Batman Who Laughs. Uh, but then when I saw this, I was like, all right, you know, I did a video on it. We talked about them and uh, I'm so glad to have them in my collection and on the shelf in the background. And, you know, whenever, you know, one day if I get my own place again and I can spread things out a little bit more and I can actually work on like, all right, this section of the wall is a background with shelves for Venom Vlog. And then I'll do like, you know, this is my Batman background for the Batman shows or whatever like one day I'll get to that level hopefully uh, but until then I was like you know this is nice having on the bookshelf behind me and they're affordable you know that's the other thing is like I'm not spending $300 for a statue and even though $300 statues are worth it and they look great and they're amazing uh, just with my luck I'll either drop it or break it or you know or Echo will knock it over or or something not to blame Echo obviously he's a good boy but um, you know so I like having these and I wanted a nice collection, you know, and hopefully we see more symbiote characters uh, in the future. I hopefully they do scream and, you know, and maybe null or some point you know, at some point or the Grendel or something like that. I'd love to see um, more characters that we can add, like, you know, and make like a build a big family out of the Life Foundation symbiotes. I doubt they'll do them, but I, I'd like to see that for sure. Um, but, you know, as you guys know, uh, you probably saw my Instagram posts a while back on free comic book day there was an exclusive black costume Spider-Man. So they did like a regular Spider-Man in his regular costume, red and blue. And he's like, you know, crouched on this building and stuff. And he's like, or crouched on webbing that's sticking to build, you know, between two buildings. But on free comic book day, instead of doing the red and blue, they made a limited edition black costume Spider-Man. And in the same pose and everything, just with the black costume on. And I thought it was awesome. It looked great. I was, you know, as you know, I was handing out the free, uh, you know, comic book day version of the, the Carnage set up for Absolute Carnage. And I was handing those out of Golden Apple. And I was handing out some of my own comics too and signing them. And I had a lot of fun and I saw that statue and I was like, oh my God, I got to buy it. But then I got sick that day. It was like the noise was too much. I did my interview uh, with Jerry Duggan and then I was like, my head was just ready to just shut down. And I had a long drive home after, you know, after leaving there. So I said, Ryan, I got to go now. Just whatever's in my pool list, just leave it there. I'll buy it next time. I got to go. And then I left forgetting all about that black costume Spider-Man statue. So I emailed Ryan a couple days later and said, hey, if you still have one left, could you hold it for me? I'll happily buy it next time I come in. And then unfortunately, I just never was able to get down to Golden Apple for like a whole month and a half. And by the time I did, it was after E3 and I was able to go by there, pick up some books. And then like a couple days later, they're like, hey, there is something here for you at the store you forgot to get. You know, do you want to come back and get it? Um, and, and I said, yeah, thanks for holding it for me. Whatever it is, I'll come down and get it. I completely forgot that it was this statue. And uh, I'm so glad that I got it. <laughs> and I went down there. And like I said, these things range from like 40 to 50 bucks usually. Usually around $45. And so when I saw this and I was like, you, wow, you, I... I was just so happy. I was like, you you actually held it for me. Like, I knew they would because, uh, you know, I asked Ryan and he was like very nice. He was like, hey, yeah, it didn't sell. So I'll hold it for you and you just buy it when you, you know, we come in. And uh, I can't believe I forgot about it. And it, it, I felt so bad. And I wrote him like an apology letter. I said, dude, that was the nice thing of you, you to hold this for me for almost two months. Um, I, I wish I remembered that you were holding it for me because uh, sometimes my memory just slips, man. I got so much going on and I, I felt so bad. So he was very nice about it, very generous and was like, it's okay. Okay, man you know like uh next time i'll remind you that you have it here it's it's all good and i i'm so glad you know that they did remind me that there was something there for me 
So I went back a few days later after um, E3 to pick this up and uh, dropped the $45 on it. And it's worth every penny. I mean, this thing is so cool. And I have now a Spider-Man on the shelf because I have the video game Spider-Man. That came with like the limited edition of the video game. So I was like, all right, I don't need another Spider-Man toy or, or, or statue, but him in the black costume. I was like, that'll go great with the theme of our show, obviously, of everyone who's had a ho, you know, who's been, um, you know, bonded with a symbiote. So now we have Peter Parker bonded with a symbiote. But then, of course, now it's the Summer of Carnage. So there was a Carnage statue that came out recently, too. And I was able to pick that one up as well uh, from our friends at House of Secrets. Uh, I went over there and said, hey, you know, I went in to spend money one day. And uh, I don't know, there was like something I was looking for and they didn't have it on hand. And so I was like, okay, I was like, hey, it's all good. But they were like, oh, we'll hold it for you for next time you come in. It was a, a green a Ghost Rider comic book. And then the next time I came in, they had it for me. And then I said, you know what? That was so nice of them to hold it for me too. So, uh, and and because it was a book that sold out everywhere, I went everywhere looking for it and it was sold out everywhere. Uh, Golden Apple, you know, uh, Legacy Comics, all the stores I go to, um, Blast Off, like it was sold out everywhere. So I was like, okay. I, I can't, you know, I, I, I gotta have that Ghost Rider comic. They were nice enough to track one down for me uh, from, you know, someone who decided they didn't want it or whatever, and they put it in my pull list. And I was like, you know, that's so nice to help me keep my Dan Catch collection complete that I bought them a pizza. You know, I just went and got like an $8 pizza and went and dropped it off with a couple sodas. And I said, hey, thank you so much for that. And I said, while I'm here though, um, since I, I, you know, I had this extra money at that time, like burning a hole in my pocket, I was like, I'd like to reserve this statue. And they said, oh, you know what? Actually, it's it just came out or it's about to come out. So if you pay for it now, um, you know, when it comes in, well, you know, we'll order it right now. We'll have it for you like next week. And they did. And I, ha I got this about like maybe two or three weeks ago uh, now. So yeah, so this is kind of the collection, you know, um, and this Carnage statue is amazing. It's beautiful looking, uh, you know, it really captures the essence of the character. You know, of course, you know, we all wish that it was like, you know, I had like a Cletus side, like the way the Venom one does, but no, nah, I don't really think that like, I mean, if it had it, that's fine, but this just looks really solid. It looks like a really cool design. It shows the scariness of them. And it shows that there probably isn't a human in there, actually. You know, even though there is Cletus Cassidy, he's a monster himself. So I kind of like that they just fully went with the monster look, the symbiote look. And they got the axe in his hand, everything kind of reminiscent of, like, the 90s comics and the 90s cartoon series. So when I saw that, I was like, boom, another 45 bucks. But it was worth it. And, uh, you know, buying both of those within the span of, like, two weeks of each other really tapped me out financially i put i think i put one of them on my credit card um but yeah it was i was like oh this is this is too strenuous on my on my um you know my budget right now but i'm glad i did it and i'm and i was worth eating peanut butter and jellies for you know for another week uh you know or sometimes sometimes i eat just jelly toast because of how broke i am but that's okay as long as i have something to eat and my my dog echo has food then i'm not complaining for sure um so to have this though and to complete this trilogy of uh symbiote hosts the first three hosts you know we have Peter Parker here and we have uh, Venom and Eddie Brock and then his his spawn you know Carnage um, so yeah I'm glad and I wanted to show them off and talk about them uh, to see you know if any of you guys have them out there do you buy these statues these diamonds like PDC statues if not you should if you have the budget you know like I said I I like collecting things and I used to love collecting statues and uh, before I used to work a job where I would make like $200 a day uh, you know doing freelance stuff and I could afford you know $300 statues uh, much easier uh, but nowadays you know I work for you know you know basically minimum wage so uh, I can't and uh, and maybe that's a good thing because then I'll just break them anyway so have and these is really nice so if you're out there and you're on a budget and you want to collect cool collectibles i would say give these you know, pvc diamond select statues a chance because they're really awesome and they do a lot of great characters like i said i have the green lantern one and the batman who laughs and they did the other like evil batman from the the metal universe too or the dark multiverse and um you know i'll try to get them you know get some of them when i can when i can afford them but these three i had to have and i'm glad i do so thanks golden apple comics uh i got this one at legacy comics so all three shops that i i frequent the most um, you know, all contributed to this. And that's why I like shouting them out. And that's why I put links to their, you know, uh, sites and everything down below in the description box. So show them some love. If you're in the Los Angeles area, go visit those stores, tell them the Venom vlog sent you. And, uh, and also, you know, check out these PVC statues if you ever get a chance. And let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. And we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, in the next episode, we're going to talk about some new Venom Funko Pop toys, actually. And then we're going to get into the Symbiote Spider-Man uh, miniseries. And then by that point, we'll have more Absolute Carnage comic books coming out later this week. So I'm very excited. We'll have a lot to cover. So let's get to it. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.